Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I would like to give a taskilah about electronic cigarettes Also known as vaping uh, So first of all, uh, in this modern era of constant technological advancement Many new and sophisticated inventions have been introduced to men As to cope up with this wind of change An eye-catching one would be the invention of the electronic cigarette Also known as vape uh, They are handheld devices often made to look like the conventional cigarettes and it's used in, this, in a similar way. Uh, Chinese pharmacist Hon Lip was the person who created this electronic cigarette in the early 2000s as it had penetrated the market since then by the major multinational tobacco companies in the year 2013. So a general rule of the Islamic Sharia law state that it is haram for Muslim to eat or drink anything which may cause his death either quickly or gradually, such as poison, substances which are injurious to health or harmful to the body. Indeed, there is no specific ruling or direct prohibitions in the Quran and the Hadith related to electronic cigarettes. But in general, the Quran and Hadith forbid Muslims to reach out all vile things that damage themselves. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 195, clearly implies the statement above. Allah says in the Quran, and spend in the way of Allah, and do not throw yourself with your own hands into destruction by refraining. And do good. Indeed, Allah loves the doers of good. So based on the above verse, it is clearly forbidden to practice or commit something that brought destruction to our body. According to Islamic laws, anything deemed to bring harm to the body and mind is prohibited to be consumed. The setting for the prohibition of e-cigarettes is based on the kias. Thus, numerous scholars from all jurisprudence have prohibited the use of e-cigarettes, which the ruling of e-cigarettes is kias to the ruling of the conventional cigarettes. So that is all for our Tazkirah today. We end our Tazkirah today with Tazbih, Kafara and Salatul Ras. The Tazkirah was good. Yes. Do you want to buy anything? Uh, no. Let's go. Vape is dangerous. Vape will kill you. Vape is haram. What's the problem? Anything wrong? Don't you know vape is? Yes, this proven to be healthier and safer than traditional cigarettes. Plus, it's not even haram to vape. MashaAllah, I think there is something wrong somewhere with you guys. Who say so? Do you know that Dr. Dr. Zulmuddin Muhammad Al Marki, Mufti Milan Pusatuan, has argued that vaping is very similar to smoking? This is by using the analogy that smoking is haram because it's detrimental to health and contradicts with the teachings of Al-Quran and Sunnah, as well as the objectives of Mahasid Sharia. So, he concludes that vaping is also forbidden. In addition, Imam Shafi has issued a clear fatwa in his famous book, al o which is, if they take something food that can intoxicate, then the act is obviously illegal, including which contains the toxins that cause death. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala also prohibits any kind of murder because it means suicide. Based on the above statement, it is clear that electronic cigarettes also include illegal acts as it harms oneself to death. Okay, there might be some problems from using it, but it's not necessarily haram to vape. It's not like vaping will instantaneously kill you. In fact, some vapors tend to live much longer than non-vapors. However, the fourth legal maxim says, 
اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم لا ضرر ولا ضرر there should be neither harming nor interpreting harm and the words Quran verses has been structured to protect five essential values which are faith life intellect property and lineage the usage of electronic cigarettes will bring harm to one of these five essential values which is the life moreover the president of the Malaysian Medical Association Dr Ashok Fi Zakaria also claim that the electronic cigarette could bring harm users since most of the chemicals contained in conventional cigarettes also contain in electronic cigarettes the nicotine inhaled from an e-cigarette is still the original nicotine drug found in a normal cigarette which is an addictive drug a poison in large quantities cell damaging in small quantities and thought by some to cause cancer and real damage to the body But according to Abraham Rizai, a prominent Hanafi scholar has argued that e-cigarettes are undesirable. He came to the conclusion, due to some factors he professed, that people can opt for non-nicotine e-cigarettes and the solution in e-cigarettes came from different degree of concentration. Hence, the ruling for the conventional cigarettes cannot be applied to the e-cigarettes. In addition, he claimed there is no definitive proof that e-cigarettes have any harm to the user's body. <laughs> Harm should not be removed by a similar harm. This maxim clearly states that one harm cannot remove another harm. This can be applied in the situation of e-cigarettes, where e-cigarettes should not be seen as the alternative to curb the habit of smoking conventional cigarettes. Using e-cigarettes to deter the habits of smoking will not lessen the problems, but it will add more problems as people will get addicted to e-cigarettes due to nicotine in e-cigarettes instead of Orthodox cigarettes. However, Ibrahim Rizal professes that e-cigarettes have some lesser known advantages to the public. E-cigarettes are a way for heavy smokers to wean them up from smoking the traditional cigarettes. This statement is in accordance with the relevance of the fourth legal maxim, which is a lesser harm is to be tolerated in order to eliminate a greater one. It is also supported by Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Salih Al Usamin, where he stated that it is compulsory for heavy smokers to use a device. To try to negate his health habits of smoking. In conclusion, he wrote that his cigarettes are undesirable. The side use of right is one of the method used in the sofa. This statement means leading to destruction. E-cigarettes can be seen as a gateway to more harmful drugs, according to Harvard Health Publishing, which states that the nicotine in e-cigarettes is tremendously addictive in its own, and it can result to changes in the brain, also increase the risk. Of addiction to other drugs. Michael Biore, as cited in Reader's Digest, has claimed that the nicotine in e-cigarettes can increase the heartbeat of a person because it is categorized in the stimulant category of drugs. The increase of heartbeat can cause dizziness or lightheadedness to the person. Face off, we're using our own money to buy the e-cigarettes. It shouldn't be a bother to you. However, the main concern is e-cigarette has violated another aspect of Makasi Sharia, which is the wealth. The price of e-cigarette, nothing to scoff at as they are very expensive. The device itself costs around 100 to 200 and the solution that goes with it costs an extra 20 to 30 ringgit. Frequent e-cigarette users will have to spend a lot of money to satiate their desires. This will be a waste of the financial uses. Hence, it reaches the third essential value, which is wealth. We're not going to be thrown into hell just for smoking e-cigarettes alone. There is a narration from Buhari that states, someone who deliberately hurts himself will stay in hell forever. Let me read my hadith. Sahih Buhari. Narrated Abu Hurairah, the Prophet said, whoever purposely throws himself from a mountain and kills himself will be in the hell fire falling down into it and abiding there in perpetually forever. And whoever drinks poison and kills himself with it, he will be carrying his poison in his hand and drinking it in the hellfire, where he will abide eternally forever. And whoever kills himself with an iron weapon will be carrying the weapon in his hand and stabbing his abdomen with it in hellfire, wherein 
he will abide eternally forever. This narration has proved that the act of intentionally harming yourself will result in great torment and put you in hell eternally. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't listen to your babbling anymore. Okay, fine. Go first. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Boy, what are you doing? Really? Nanti aku cari saya bila baju ko. Puff of smokes, burning your eyes, deteriorating, scratching your throat, your lungs, crippling the soul, a temporary sensation, a euphoric pleasure, a short term satisfaction, all in exchange for a lifetime suffocation, a tool to let the stress be free, free from all the depravities, when in reality, the only place it is bringing you is to your own demise. Vaping is very similar to... That vaping will instantaneously kill you. In fact, vapors tend to live much. Some vapors tend to live much longer than others. La dorora wala dira. There should be neither. But according to Abraham Bizai, a prominent anime fake scholar, has a cigarettes should not be seen as an alternative to curb to curb the habit of smoking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.